guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrea, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing a ton of dollar store Christmas DIYs with you. Over the last couple of months, I've had so much fun making these dollar store Christmas DIY videos, and today I thought I'd put all of those together into one big video so you have all of the DIYs in one place, and whether you're looking for a fun Christmas Eve craft to make, or you just want to save these ideas for next year, then I hope this video is fun and helpful for you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and let's get into all the Christmas DIYs of the year. For the first DIY project, I'm making a snowman candle out of one of these tall candles from Dollar Tree with some ribbon for the scarf, two pipe cleaners for the arms, and two black buttons. I have this black sharpie and orange permanent marker I'll be using to make the eyes and nose, although I do end up having to use a slightly different technique than I was planning on, which you will see later on. I'm starting by twisting the two pipe cleaners together until I have what looks like two arms. Then I'm cutting off a piece of the ribbon for his scarf and tying it around the candle. I tried drawing on the eyes with the Sharpie and it does work a little bit, but it's not quite as dark and pigmented as I was hoping for. But it's when I try using this permanent marker that nothing happened. You can't even see the orange on the glass at all. So what I did instead was I drew these eyes and a carrot nose and a mouth on a piece of paper and then I cut them out and glue them on the candle. If you have paint markers, I think that is supposed to work a lot better on glass. I didn't have those so I made do with the paper and hot glue and I actually think it turned out pretty well. Sometimes you have to make do with what you have. Now I'm just tucking the pipe cleaner in the back of the scarf. You could glue this in place if you wanted to but I found that it actually stayed in place pretty well. And now I'm gluing on the buttons. I found these two black buttons at Michael's and they were only about a dollar for the two of them. But of course if you have any buttons just laying around your house, that works even better. Next, I'm taking this mason jar. I got a pack of three at Dollarama for just a couple of dollars. And I'll be using some Mod Podge, this glittery fake snow, Epsom salts, some jute cord, and a couple of berries and leaves from this arrangement along with a foam brush. First, I'm mixing the Epsom salts with some of the glitter, and then I'm applying a thin layer of Mod Podge all over the mason jar. I'm doing this in sections so the Mod Podge doesn't dry too quickly. And now I'm sprinkling on the Epsom salt and glitter mixture. If you have little sections that aren't covered with glitter, that's okay. There are just more spaces for light to shine through when you put a candle inside. But if you did want to cover any of them up, you can do what I'm doing here, which is adding little bits of Mod Podge in the blank sections and then sprinkling on a bit more of the glitter. Now I'll let this dry overnight and then we'll come back. Here's what the jar is looking like so far, covered in the glitter and salt. Now I'm taking this jute cord and hot gluing it to the top of the mason jar. For now, I'm just gluing the two ends of the cord because I wanna leave space to tuck in the berries. These are different berries than the ones I showed you to begin with, but I also got these just at the dollar store. I'm taking them apart and then I'm going to trim off the ends and twist them back together. And now I'm gluing them in place and then tucking in the very ends underneath the cord. Now now I'm going around and gluing down any of the sections of the cord that I think need to be glued down. I'm 
going to cut off a 48 inch piece of this floral wire. Thread six of these beads onto the wire and then pull them down so there's about six inches of wire sticking out the end here. I'm then going to wrap this wire around and weave it through the first bead and then pull it tight. Next, I'm going to thread five beads on the long end of the wire. Now I'm going to thread this long wire through the top of the second bead. Now I'm going to add two more beads onto this long wire. Now I'm going to pull this long wire through the bottom bead that I added in the last step when I added the five beads. So one, two, three, four, five. That would be this one here. And that is the first arm of the snowflake complete. To do the next section, I'm going to weave the wire through this next bead on the circle. Now it's a matter of repeating those steps to make all the arms of the snowflake. Again, I'm adding five beads. Then I'll put the wire through the second top bead and pull that through. Now I'm adding two more beads. Then I'm threading the wire through this bottom bead here. To start the next arm of the snowflake, you always want to weave the wire through the next bead on the inner circle. Now I've got all the sides of the snowflake done. I'm going to bring these two ends of the wire together and pull tight. Then going to wrap them together, then trim it. Here is the finished snowflake ornament. I will be creating a glitzy Christmas tree decoration with this clear plastic ornament from Dollar Tree, along with this ribbon of sequins. I'm going to cut these so they're in smaller strands, then glue them to the ornament. I'm putting a dot of hot glue right at the top and then attaching the top part of the sequins. Now that the top part of this strand of sequins is attached here, I'm going to wrap it around and then secure it to the very bottom and then keep going around back to the top. There's the first strand wrapped around the ornament. I'm cutting off another section of this sequin ribbon here. This time I left it so there are three sequins across on the strand. I want this strand of sequins to be in the middle of these other two. So I'll add a dollop of glue and then attach this like that. I'm adding a bit more to the very bottom to hold the strand in place. And finally, another dollop of glue at the top. I'm now cutting out some single strands. This time I'm cutting shorter strands because these ones are not going to wrap all the way around the ornament. I'm using an empty toilet paper roll, some burlap from the dollar store, twine, this ribbon with lace on it, a wooden bead for the angel head, and some hot glue. To start, I'm cutting the toilet paper roll in half, and I'm using this circle as a guide to cut some rounded edges off the top two corners of the toilet paper roll. Now I'm rolling it into a cone and then hot gluing it in place then wrapping it in the burlap. I'm gluing the edges of the burlap up inside of the toilet paper roll just to hide all of the jagged edges. I'm weaving a piece of string through the wooden bead and then tying a knot because I saw someone else do this step, but it ended up being unnecessary for me because I just glued the wooden bead on top of the toilet paper roll for the head. And now I'm cutting off a piece of this ribbon with the lace and rounding off the edges to make the wings. Now I'm pinching the middle and then tying a piece of string around the middle. 
I'm ripping off some of this lace from the ribbon to attach to the angel for a bit of decoration on her dress. I wanted a thinner piece of the lace around the bottom, so I'm just cutting one in half and then attaching it along the edge. I'm taking the twine again and adding a bow to the front of her. I'm wrapping the twine around my fingers a few times and then cutting it in half to make the hair. I'm tying a piece of twine around the middle just to keep it all together and then gluing it on the top of her head. As you can see, the hair is a little wild. It's sticking out everywhere, which is totally fine, but I decided to glue down a few of the pieces just to tame her a little bit. Now I'm adding a loop to the back, so if you wanted to hang this on the tree, then you could. Hey, I hope you're enjoying these Christmas DIYs so far. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll be using one of these clear plastic balls from Dollar Tree along with this gold tissue paper and this white tissue paper with lots of colored dots. And I'll be making some confetti with the tissue paper and stuffing it inside the clear ball. To make the confetti, I'm leaving the tissue paper folded up like this and I'm cutting thin strips out of the tissue paper. cutting horizontally into these strands to make tiny little confetti pieces. They don't have to be the same size or anything, just completely random. Pushing that to the side for now, I'm going to make some confetti out of this tissue paper now. Taking a little bit of this fake snow as well, just to add a little bit of sparkle inside. You will need a bowl, I got this one at Dollar Tree, some fake snow, a couple of mini Christmas trees, a couple of blocks, some string or twine, and a toy truck. I'm hot gluing two of these blocks together to make a riser for the Christmas trees. And now I'm gluing the trees onto these blocks. I wanted them to be different heights, so if you already have trees that are different heights, then you won't need to do this, but this way it gives me sort of a forested look. I then hot glued these blocks to the bottom of the bowl and now I'm going to use this string to tie a tree onto the back of the truck. First I'm hot gluing the string to the front of the truck on the bottom so I can get this diagonal look. Then I'm tying a bow around the tree. Now I'm taking this fake snow and sprinkling it all on the bottom of the bowl, then putting the toy truck inside. I have these felt words and I'm using joy to put in the back of the bowl here. You could glue it in place, but I'm just pressing it up against the Christmas trees and it stays in place. have six larger beads and then six of the smaller ones here and I'm going to start threading them onto the wire. I'm now going to weave the wire on the left here through this top large bead. Now to secure it in place. I'm going to wrap the wire around itself. Now to cut off the ends, I'm going to use this red and white string to make a bow for the wreath. I cut off two pieces of the string and I'm going to make a double bow. I'm also going to cut out some holly from this green foam and add it to the wreath. I 
cut out four of these little green foam pieces and I'm going to glue them together to make the holly. Now I'm going to glue this onto the top bead here. And finally, I'm taking my double bow and I'm going to glue it right on top there. I'm now going to use this snowflake ribbon to make a loop so I can hang this on the tree. And here's the finished wreath ornament. For this next DIY, I'm taking another one of these mason jars, along with these cinnamon sticks I got at the grocery store, some Christmas ribbon, more of this jute cord, and some greenery and berries from this arrangement. I'm hot gluing each one of the cinnamon sticks to the sides of the mason jar, going all around. I had just enough cinnamon sticks to cover the whole mason jar, although the last few ended up being a little further apart than the rest of the sticks. Now I'm taking a piece of this Christmas ribbon, folding it in half and gluing it in place. I made a little bow out of the jute cord and I'm going to glue it onto the front of the jar. Now I'm cutting off a piece of greenery and some berries from this arrangement and sticking it inside the ribbon just above the bow. You could glue these in place if you wanted to. I found I didn't need to, so I'm going to leave it like this. I'm using another one of these clear plastic balls and I'm going to fill it with this fake snow and these mini trees, both of which I got from Dollar Tree. Anyway, I tried getting this fake snow into the ornament, ended up making a huge mess, but this method of sort of scooping the ornament into the snow worked fairly well. Now it's time to put the tree inside. I probably would recommend doing this before putting all the snow in, but I didn't think of that. So we are going to attempt to get this straight up. I'm getting as much of the glitter out of the way from the bottom as possible. And then I'll glue the bottom here. <laughs> oh dear, okay, oh no. I think there's a little bit too much glitter in here. I uh, lost the tree. I'll dump some of this out and see what we can do. I mean, that looks cute. I broke off a couple little pieces from a craft stick and I'm going to glue them together and then glue them to the bottom of another little tree just to add a little bit more height to this one. So when I put it in here, it'll be a little more raised up. I'm moving all the glitter to one side as much as I can again, then gluing the bottom of this tree. You know what? That actually looks really cute. I really like that. For the next DIY project, I have one of these tall white candles I got at Dollar Tree. And I'll also be using some of this burlap, which is left over from the burlap wreath I made in the fall. This is from Dollarama. And I'll be using some of this jute cord again, along with some Christmas ribbon that I didn't show here, and some of the greenery from this floral arrangement. To start, I'm wrapping the burlap around the candle to see how much I need, then cutting off a piece. And now I'm gluing it in place. Now I'm cutting off a piece of this Christmas ribbon and wrapping it around the candle and tying a bow. I also made a bow with the jute cord and I'm going to glue that on top of the Christmas ribbon bow. Now I'm cutting off some leaves from this floral arrangement to add to the candle here. I got 
these two styrofoam cones from Dollar Tree. And then I have this yarn I got from Michaels along with these pearl beads also from the dollar store. To start off, I'm hot gluing all around the bottom of the cone and then attaching the yarn. And I'm continuing all around the cone hot gluing as I go. I started off being pretty careful where I was putting the yarn as I was going around the cone. But then as time went on, I was a little less careful with it, which is totally okay because you can go back and add more layers of yarn over top of any of the blank spaces. And that's what I'm doing here is just going over where I think I need to add more yarn and hot gluing it in place. Once I thought there was enough of this gray yarn on the cone, I took this lighter cream colored yarn and wove it around in sort of a diagonal pattern just to add a little more interest to the tree. And now I'm hot gluing these different sized pearls onto the tree. For the smaller cone, I'm taking the cream colored yarn and wrapping it all around and hot gluing it in place. And then I'll also be adding the same pearl beads onto the cone. filling a clear ornament with some Christmas ribbon. I have this white ribbon with red and white candy canes and this gold ribbon. I'm folding the ribbon accordion style so I can fit it inside the ornament. I'm using tweezers just to move the ribbon around a little bit. I'm putting another small piece of this candy cane ribbon inside. That came together so quickly and so easily and you could use any color ribbon you want to suit your theme for the tree or whatever colors you're going with. I'm using this grapevine wreath, which is actually the same wreath I used in my fall DIY wreath video. I just took out all the leaves and put them in a bag and now I'm reusing it for Christmas. For this wreath, I'm using lots of these berries and leaves and pine cones I got at the dollar store. And I'm basically just going to shove them into the wreath as much as I can. And I'll also be using that floral wire again to tie down anything that needs a bit more securing. If you wanted this to be more of a permanent decor piece, you could hot glue everything down to make sure it stays in place. I'm taking another one of these styrofoam cones from Dollar Tree. I actually cut off the bottom of this one just so it would be a different height than the other two Christmas trees I made. I drew the shape of a leaf onto this piece of cardboard and now I'm cutting it out and I'll use it as a template for all of my foam leaves. At first I thought I'd try to cut multiple leaves at once so I'm folding the foam in half and then trying to cut around the cardboard leaf but I didn't really like the way this was working. I found it kind of left these jagged edges. So instead what I did was traced this cardboard leaf all over the piece of foam and then I cut out each individual leaf. This is definitely time consuming but it's pretty easy to do. So just put on a TV show or a podcast and get tracing and cutting. I cut an entire sheet of foam into all the little leaves and I ended up using almost all of them, although I did have a few left over. And now it's time to glue them all in place. 
For the bottom row, I left part of the leaf hanging down past the edge of the cone a little bit, and I'm gluing them all in a row beside each other. For all the subsequent rows, I'm layering the leaves on top of each other to give a nice 3D effect. Once I got to the top of the tree, I just arranged the leaves so they came to sort of a point at the top. This ornament will be really fun and whimsical because I'll be filling it with all of these little pink and white pom-poms. You could choose whatever colors you wanted, if you wanted to go with more traditional red and green or any color scheme that you wanted. I saw these pink ones and I had to have them. pom-poms in here and this is what it's looking like. This particular pack comes with 32 doilies, 8 of each size, and for these snowflakes you'll need 7 of each size. I'll also be using a glue stick, although I did switch to a hot glue gun later on. To start, you'll want to take one of the doilies and put the good side towards the table and then fold the doily in half from the bottom to the top. Then make a crease and unfold it. Now fold each side of the doily into the center. Then fold it in half again from the bottom to the top. Now unfold the doily again and apply glue to the top edges on the left and right side. Then fold it in half again and press it together. Now you should be able to open up the doily like this. Then put this one to the side and continue with the other six doilies. Once you have all seven doilies done, then you're going to apply some glue to the bottom edge and the middle of the doily, and then stick them all together. I started doing this with a glue stick, but I found it wasn't quite sticky enough, so then I transferred to using a hot glue gun, and I did find that a lot easier. Once you have all seven of the doilies stuck together, it should open up like this and form a snowflake. Now we just have to attach these last two pieces together and then it'll be done. To make a slightly different style of snowflake, I'm going to take the next size up of doily and cut off all of the edges. And then I'm going to repeat all the same steps as before, doing the folding and all of the gluing. I will say the gluing was a lot trickier without the edges there, so I had to make sure that I kept opening it up after I glued and seeing that all the right things were sticking together because putting the glue on the tiny little pieces of the doilies with all of the holes is tricky. I 
have this strand of tinsel. I got it at Dollarama for $2. And I'm going to cut off a piece of this and put it inside. Next up, I'm going to be making a snowman hat ornament out of craft sticks. I'll be using five of these smaller cross sticks and two of the larger ones. I'll also be using some red and black paint, green foam and little berries to make some holly, and finally some red and white string to make a loop to hang it on the tree. I'm going to paint one of these small cross sticks red. Then I'm going to paint four of the small craft sticks black. <music> Lastly, I'm also going to paint two of the longer popsicle sticks black. Now that these sticks are dry, I'm going to arrange it to make the snowman hat. I have four of the small black ones together, then a small red one, then two of the larger black ones. And now to glue them all together. While this is drying, I'm gonna cut a piece of holly from this green foam. I got this foam at Dollar Tree and obviously it's in the shape of a Christmas tree, but you could use whatever foam you can find. I'm going to start with just cutting out a basic shape and then I'll do more of the detailing later. I'm going to sketch first what I want to cut out with a pencil and now I'll cut it out. Before I glue the holly in place here, I think I'm gonna try and paint some more black over these glue pieces. To make this hat more stable, I painted another craft stick in black and I'm going to glue it to the back. You can see how wobbly this is right now. Hopefully adding this will help. That made such a big difference. It's so much sturdier. I decided to paint another one to add on here just for a double the support. Now I'm going to glue my holly onto the hat. For some extra decoration on the hat, I bought these little berries from Dollarama and I'm going to cut off a little piece and glue it on. I'm now going to make a loop so it can hang on the tree with this red and white cord. And here is the finished snowman hat. Since we don't have a fireplace, I'm going to use our TV stand as a sort of mantle for the garland. I got this nine foot garland at Walmart for $5. I was planning on getting a couple of the 12 foot garlands from Dollar Tree, but when I went there this morning, both of the Dollar Trees near me didn't have any left. So I just got this one instead. They also had lighted ones for $15, but I got a pack of these mini lights from Dollar Tree and I'm going to weave them into this garland. I also have this, which is a strand of pine cones, greenery and berries, which I got at Dollarama. And I'm going to use these as decorations in the garland. I'm going to start with this and then see how it looks and if I want to add anything else in there. I'm folding the garland in half, then arranging it how I want it to be. Now I'm going to fluff all of these and get it laying how I want it to. I'm taking these lights and putting them onto the garland. The strand of lights wasn't quite long enough to extend across the whole thing, so I'm focusing the lights mostly in the middle of the garland but I'm weaving them throughout the branches as much as I can. Here's what it's looking like with all the lights on. I'm now taking this strand of pine cones and berries and adding it to the garland. I'm 
instead of cutting off pieces of this branch with the pine cones and the berries, I decided to just weave it all throughout this garland, which makes it a lot easier. But if you do have smaller pieces or picks that you want to stick into the garland, then you can definitely do that as well. I would recommend maybe tying it around the garland with some string or twine. I'm just weaving it in and then pulling out the branches of the garland out where I think they need to be to cover up some of the branch and then just to make it look really cohesive. I have these gold leaf picks left over from my Christmas wreath video, and I think I'm gonna try and stick some of these in the garland. The sides are particularly lacking just because my strand of lights didn't reach all the way to both ends. So to jazz it up a little bit, I think I'll stick in some of these gold leaves and see how that looks. I really like what this is looking like with those gold leaves popping up in there. And then here's the rest of the garland. I do have two more of these leaves that I think I might do in the center here. I have two of these candle holders I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to put a candle in each of them and then put them on either end of the garland. For this ornament, I'll be covering it with some Epsom salts. I'll also be using some Mod Podge and this foam brush. The first step is to cover the whole ornament in Mod Podge. let this dry. I put a skewer in this empty ketchup bottle and I'll rest the ornament right on top there. I let this set overnight just to make sure it was totally dry and all the little salt crystals were stuck to the ornament. Now I'm going to carefully brush off any that might be just sitting on top. ornament I'll be filling it with more of this fake snow along with these little red berries. I'm not going to try to glue these in I'm just throwing them in and they'll land where they land. like how long one of those stems is so I'm going in with some tweezers to get it out and then I'll just trim it a bit more. I have this red and white string that I'm cutting off a piece of and putting inside the ornament. I'm going to do for my snowman ornament is cut off a piece of this jute cord. I think it's always better to cut off more than you think you'll need because you can always trim it later. To make it easier to feed the end of this cord through the beads, I'm going to wrap some scotch tape around the end. And there we 
have our little snowman body. I'm going to tie a knot in the bottom so the beads don't fall off, and then I'll trim off the excess. And now I'm going to make a loop at the top so it can hang on the tree. I would have made the loop before putting the beads on and then just strung the beads on both strands of the jute, but this jute cord that I'm using is too thick to fit through these beads. But if you're using string that's thinner than this, then that would totally work. I think instead of tying a knot up here, I'm going to hot glue the loop in place and then cut off the excess. I'm now going to wrap this little end piece around and then glue it in place. Now to turn this little guy into a snowman. I've got a black sharpie here and I'm going to draw on his eyes. I also have an orange permanent marker to draw on the nose. That one didn't work quite as well. It is kind of bleeding a little bit, but hopefully from far away you won't notice. Now for the mouth. I'm going to add some buttons. The black ink is bleeding a little bit as well. I think maybe the carrot nose is more noticeable just because it's supposed to be that pointy shape, but I still think he looks pretty cute. For this ornament, I'm going to attempt to do kind of a swirled effect with these three paints I have here. I have this pink one in the shade Carnation, this one in the shade Aged Bronze, and this plain glossy white one. I've seen lots of people say it helps the paint stick to the sides of the ornament if you clean it out with either rubbing alcohol or vinegar first. So that's what I did. I poured a little bit of vinegar inside of here and then swirled it all around and let it dry overnight. And now I'm going to squirt the paints inside and see if I can get a swirled effect. Since this jar of paint is much too large to pour into the ornament, I got this dropper from the drugstore for about $2, and I'm going to use this to suck up the paint and squirt it inside the ornament. resting it on either side for a couple minutes each. All of the blank spaces are filled in with paint. I have a skewer in an empty ketchup bottle here and I'm going to rest the ornament on top so the rest of the excess paint can drip out and it can dry. I'm going to be using the paint again, but instead of using multiple colors, I'm going to cover the whole thing in one color. I'm using this aged bronze color again. I'll stick the dropper inside the paint and then suck some up and then squeeze it inside the ornament. I'm covering the top with a paper towel and now I'm going to shake it all around. I'll drop some more paint in here. Like I did with the other painted ornament, I'm going to rest it on one side for a bit so all the paint can drip over to this side. And then after a few minutes, I'll switch it over to this side. I'm using this wire wreath form from Dollar Tree along with this 15 foot garland and a couple of these floral picks. One of these metal words from Dollar Tree, I ended up using peace. To make the wreath, I'm wrapping the garland all around the wreath form.
now I'm fluffing it up to fill up the whole wreath. You could glue down any of these decorations. I decided I didn't want it to be that permanent, so I'm just stuffing the stems through the wreath, and then I'll also be wrapping some floral wire around them just to help keep them in place. I'm using this Christmas ribbon to make a bow to put at the top of the wreath. To start with, I'm just making a normal bow, and then I'm making two extra loops just to make the bow a lot fuller. Using some floral wire I got at Dollar Tree to tie the bow to the top of the wreath. I played around a lot with these decorations, deciding where I wanted all of them to go. And what I love about this kind of thing is you can use whatever you have or whatever you can find to make any kind of wreath you want and everyone's will look a little bit different which is kind of fun. I'm using this floral wire to tie down all the different elements on the wreath. I'm just wrapping it around each of them and then tying it in the back. Now I'm adding some gold ribbon to the top so I have something to hang the wreath with. I'll be using these longer craft sticks along with these shorter ones. I have some white, brown, and red paint to paint the craft sticks with. And then I also have a bunch of little decorations to add to the sleds. I have these berry picks and these bells. And then also some different colored twine. We have this red and white one along with all of these metallic colored ones. I'm also going to be using some jute cord along with a hot glue gun. The first thing I'm going to do is paint these two longer craft sticks brown. I'm using this acrylic paint from the dollar store. This is in the shade Burnt Umber. <laughs> I'm going to take some of this warm white shade to paint the smaller craft sticks. I'm going to make one more sled, so I'll paint two more of these long ones in the brown color, and then I'm going to do five of these smaller ones, but in red this time. I'm going to do for my sled is line up four of the smaller craft sticks and two of them will be up a little bit higher and then the other two lower down in the middle and then I'll glue them together. Now 
I'm going to take these two longer craft sticks that I painted brown and attach them to this section. Here's my little sled so far. Now I'm going to add this piece on top like that. I got these bells at the dollar store. I'm going to use this string to tie them to the sled. I have this bundle of berries I got at the dollar store that I'm going to separate and cut to attach to the sled. I cut one of the craft sticks to be smaller so I can glue it on the back of the sled here just to make this more sturdy. Now I'm going to cut a loop out of this jute cord. I also put together the red sled, so here are both of them beside each other. You could definitely personalize these any way you wanted by writing people's names on it or dates or anything like that, but I think they turned out really cute. My next project is going to be figuring out a way to hang my stockings. Since we don't have a mantle or a fireplace, I was thinking of stringing them on a garland up on the wall here. And to do that, I got this garland at Dollarama for $2. It's basically just a piece of jute with some little pine cones and red berries. So if you can't find something similar to this, you could easily make it just with some jute string from the dollar store and you can get bags of these pine cones. Or if you live somewhere that has lots of pine cones around, even better, and then you could attach any berries or greenery that you wanted. I also have a bunch of these decorative bells I got from the dollar store that I might add on here. I think what I'm going to do first is hang this up on the wall and then hang the stockings on it and see if I want to add any more greenery or anything like that to it. To hang this on the wall I got two of these command hooks. I'm going to spray paint these gold just to make them look a little more festive and not stand out so much with the bright white. This is what the hooks are looking like after two coats of spray paint. I didn't bother painting the back since those will be against the wall anyway. Okay, I've got my pine cone garland and now I'm gonna hang it on the wall. I've got all these bells I got from the dollar store here and I'm going to tie these little strings they came with and then attach them to the garland. I made these two little bows from ribbon I got at Dollar Tree and I'm going to attach these to the garland as well. got these two stockings for my husband and I at Walmart this year and since they don't have our names on them anywhere I thought it would be fun to make little stocking tags. I'm going to use these little wooden bell ornaments from Dollar Tree and this spray paint to paint them gold. I did a couple of coats on either side and then let them dry before moving on to the next step. <music> Now 
Now I'm writing our names on the ornaments just using a black sharpie. Next, I'm taking these wooden beads I got from Michael's and stringing them on some red and white twine. <laughs> attaching the string to the ornament and then tying it onto the stocking. I'm now tying a couple of knots at the bottom so the beads don't fall off. Here's the finished stocking tag. It's super simple but I thought since the stockings were such bright red that I would keep the tags more neutral and with the added wooden beads I think it just adds a nice little something special. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed all of these fun dollar store Christmas DIYs and I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. My next couple of videos coming up are going to be my bullet journal setups for 2021 and for January. So if you're interested in planning and journaling then be on the lookout for those and I'll see you next time.